Today on All Things 80s, we've got the Lego Boba Fett helmet. Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now this is one of three helmets that Lego have offered us from the Star Wars range, the other two being the Stormtrooper and the TIE Fighter pilot. But it was the Boba Fett one that caught my attention. Now, it's containing 625 pieces and for ages 18 and up, which I'm sure is a little bit excessive, don't you think? Uh, other comments about the box, pretty cool box actually, and in keeping with the current line of Empire Strikes Back material, it is the 40th anniversary. Uh, the back does show a nice sort of uh, image of the helmet along with a couple of stills from the Empire Strikes Back. So certainly in terms of appearance, the box does look pretty damn cool, but we're not here to talk about the box. We're going to get this thing opened up and assembled and then we'll talk about the helmet itself. All right, so taking a look at the contents of the Lego Boba Fett helmet. Um, 625 pieces for 18 years and older. That's a bit extreme. I'm sure a 12 year old could be perfectly content making this. Anyway, let's see what we all got inside the box. So we have five bags. Five bags and a pretty substantial booklet here. So this looks like it could be quite challenging. Could also be quite repetitive, I would imagine, with some of these parts looking the same, but we'll get to that when we start assembling it. Now the book itself looks rather nice, although I would have liked to have seen maybe a minifigure to go with this, just to sort of stand to the side, but that's me being picky, I guess. Um, I guess we've got a bit of history on Boba Fett, do we? Uh, helmets are an iconic part of the Star Wars universe. Okay. Uh, not bad. Different languages here and we're more or less straight into it. So it's showing you what each bag will produce. Uh, like I said, it does look like it could be a bit monotonous, but whatever. So I guess we'll go ahead, we'll start building this. And when we're done, we'll talk about the Boba Fett helmet from Lego. All right, so I can confirm the assembly took about two hours in total, and it wasn't quite as boring as I thought it would be. Um, whilst there are a lot of elements to it that are the same on different sides, it, it wasn't a particularly boring uh, build, if I'm being honest, so that was a good thing. Now, what is interesting is comparing the size of the box to the size of the finished model, and bearing in mind that the five bags that were contained within the box probably only filled about half of the box. So the box is actually too damn big and gave me the impression that the finished model was going to be a lot bigger. But despite it not being as big as I thought, it is very well detailed and has a functioning scope also. What I do like is how they've elected to use a few grey pieces to simulate the dent in his helmet, which is a nice touch. Uh, Colour-wise, pretty good. Um, I don't know if this shade of green is unique to the Boba Fett figure, but it's a nice shade and it contrasts rather nicely with the darker green and the dark red. We've got some nice yellow touches around here, a bit of beige on here. Um, one thing that was interesting was when doing the uh, internal construction, there were a number of pink pieces, which 
I don't know why they chose to use pink because they're not actually visible from the the outside. Um, other thing to mention is it's got a little plaque here it just says Star Wars Boba Fett. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little extra stand with a minifigure perhaps. Maybe I'm being picky. So all in all, definitely um, a pretty enjoyable thing to build. Uh, great to look. It's great to look at. It's going to be quite lovely on display. Um, the other two, I'm not so sure about because they are kind of uh, sort of monotone. You know, the stormtrooper mostly white, tie fighter mostly black. Whereas this one, a bit more interesting to look at, and it's pretty. It's pretty amazing how given that this has all been assembled from square pieces, they have got a rather nice uh, rounded look to it, which, you know, again, Lego do have some pretty amazing engineers designing these things, and this is no exception. Um, so all in all, very happy with this, and uh, two hours well spent in my opinion. So I know that there was a an issue with these selling out prior to Christmas, and then the scalpers, of course, were hawking them for two or three times the price, but I'm, I, mean, I would imagine they'll be back in stock available at retail, and if you do get a chance, I definitely recommend one of these Lego Boba Fett helmets. So thank you for watching, with special thanks to the Patreons. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, stay tuned for more videos from all things 80s.